When I started here in the early 90s, there were half the amount of students easily and the communication systems that they were using were paper pictures usually, manual signs, and we had a handful of kids that used electronic speech generating devices. We saved those for the kids with the most competent communication skills because they were bulky, very large, they were difficult to use, the voices were robotic, and they weighed about four to five pounds. So for kids who were ambulatory, those were very difficult. Within short time, the devices started getting lighter and smaller, so we were able to provide them for more of our students. At the New England Center, approximately 40% of our students are non-speaking, which means that we're presented with an additional challenge because we need to give them an efficient means of communication that they want to use and that's effective for them, that they get reinforcement from. Speech generating devices provide that immediate reinforcement because that's what the listening partner is used to hearing. How are your copies? This looks great. Do you need anything else? No, thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. I'm just doing my log. It's just math website. I'm at Builders Incorporated. I'm just trying to figure out the area of the area of the shapes and also the perimeter of the rectangle. For the rectangle, it has to be the area and perimeter, so it has to be only one shape. And for this one, 120 for the area and 52 for the perimeter. 20 by 6 because 20 times 6 is 120, and 20 plus 6 is 26 times 2 is 52. And there you have it the area and perimeter of the rectangle and the areas of the triangle and trapezoid. So students that are working in doing data entry jobs, using computer at work to log in, to complete their time card, that's one type of technology. And then the other type of technology is using an iPad or some type of mobile device to be able to do their job more independently. And that would include different programs where the students would have their job tasks listed on the iPad. They may be visuals like such as pictures or photographs. Um, they may be written words. They may be a picture with a video embedded in it to show the student what they need to do and would go through the list of what their tasks are at work. I would say it changed Nick's life in a way, uh, honestly. Technology has really uh, made it possible for him to be independent. Uh, and, and not for him only, but we've been able to use the app or the technology with all the students. My vision for our students at the New England Center for Children is for them to have technology access in almost every environment that they're in. When they're in a kitchen making a meal or maybe just serving themselves, I would love it if they could have access to an iPad with communication opportunities on there. Maybe there's a recipe app with pictures so that they can follow that recipe. When they're in an art room, wouldn't it be great if they could also have access to graphic design? Or think about this, a selfie station. They can hold up their artwork and share it with their friends. Just the way that they're typically developing peers are doing every single day 